Now, I'm not gonna lie, if y'all heard of this man, <laughs> death is way too good for this man. <laughs> Let's get straight into the reaction. This is where it all started. Yeah, obviously. You've been assigned okay, okay. the worst job that you can possibly imagine. Yeah. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Oh, no. Entered, what you doing all this stuff for? We just started the video, bro. After countless failed attempts, a shadow organization yeah. has finally captured their targets. A collection of terrifying animatronics that appear to be alive. They okay. have a history of committing horrific, violent acts, oh, and you get no. to interview one of them. Now, aren't oh, you yeah. lucky? As you nervously pace down the cell block, you hear one of your colleagues speaking with another one of the animatronics, Springtrap. Ever oh, since no. they brought that one in, it's been giving you the creeps. You turn away, he's and human. as you continue to approach, you notice that one of the animatronics appears to be missing from it's, their cell. It's entered. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was Chica. You finally reached the cell of your oh assigned animatronic, Nightmare Bonnie. You open the door and... Oh, greetings, friend. Come in, come what in. Up? I'm not going anywhere. Not oh. Now. It is good to see you. Oh, Bonnie's Bonnie nice. His sharp, He's a nice guy. claws out for a handshake. You decline. Yeah. Oh, don't shake my hand. You're here on a mission. The higher-ups want to know how these machines have been imbued with the souls of living people. Knowledge uh -huh. of such a phenomenon would... My question is, why are they still keeping these things alive? I would have just cut them out hey let them go free their, their souls they need to be set free you know what i'm saying go to heaven or if they deserve it go to he double Quack. hockey sticks yeah you know what i'm saying be an incredible scientific breakthrough one that could yeah. benefit all of humanity unfortunately what? bonnie stubbornly refuses to explain how he came to be insisting that you're better off speaking with afton or yeah. Springtrap, trap as you've taken to calling because him. you explain that afton is already being interrogated by one of your peers which seems to amuse nightmare bonnie you're awful at this by the way <laughs> key part of the interrogation is to threaten the victim. I'm not being I'm not feeling very threatened. threatened. Do you think this is frightening for me? That's crazy. This is frightening. Yo, so chill. Far, this interview chill. isn't going very chill. well. Chill. Look, puppies. Chill. Subscribe. Subscribe to Theft King for the puppies and kittens. Bonnie asks you how many of his fellow animatronics your organization has been able to bring in. Exactly how many of us did you end up bringing in? Oh, no. Wow. It's almost like they let you capture them, isn't it? How strange. Yo. You know, this thing is horrifying. Yeah, he's dead. And it isn't really dead. cooperating with you, but They're it could dead. be a lot worse. At least he's somewhat polite. Yeah. Come on, have a closer look. Nah, Bonnie, no. I'm okay. I won't no. Bonnie, I've no. been explicitly instructed not to- What do you think to I'm gonna do? Yo, yo, he's dead. He's dead. Now, if you yep. excuse me, I think we're gonna have to bring this conference to an end. Inspired yep. by segments from Freddy Fazbear's He's Pizzeria dead. Simulator, the interview began as a series of one-off videos depicting various FNAF animatronics being okay. interviewed by agents of the GEMS, a shadowy organization dedicated to the exploration of the supernatural. The first entry, an interview with Springtrap, mm, was a uh -huh. massive success, garnering yeah. over 13 million views and receiving praise for its detailed animation, slick editing, and shockingly competent voice acting, w. especially for a FNAF series. The w only series. controversial aspect was the language. Springtrap drops f-bombs and stuff and while many found this disturbing and realistic others Yo. felt that it was cringy and awkward that it just felt out of place in the fnaf series regardless the video went on to become popular and it would soon be followed by okay. an interview with ennard which featured oh, more yeah. excellent voice acting and some truly Ugh. frightening animation oh no yeah Wait a minute. I don't even That's know. That's a Slipknot lyric. Slipknot lyric. All right. Well, I guess this FNAF series is now officially <laughs> metal as f The next video and That's crazy. With Lefty is just creepy. The others are under my protection. Oh, no. I love the way the light shines out of their one eye in this scene. But I am very aware. Yo. Lefty is much less verbose than the others, and at times it's unclear if they're even really alive. They often seem to just space I'll be scared. Out, I'll be scared. I'm not gonna lie. I'll be scared. Them awake. <laughs> Lefty isn't providing the interviewer with any useful information, and they're starting to get frustrated. Suddenly, Lefty stands up as if to leave. Yo, stop. I don't hate you. Yo, stop. But you need to stay out of my way. After being returned to their seat, Lefty goes into an apparently Bro, dormant chill state. Out. The interviewer, now entirely fed you? up with the bear, goes to jostle them awake He's once dead. more when... He's dead. 
Lefty attacks the guard, escaping their cell and pulling a lever that cuts power to the facility. And oh, if there's dang. one thing we know about the FNAF universe, it's that doors require power Yo. to stay closed. And now all of the animatronics are They're free. dead. Withered Bonnie is interviewed alongside the others. They're but he dead. Seems different. He's huh? more talkative and cooperative with his interrogator, who also seems to be a bit more empathetic to the robotic bunny's horrific predicament. Yeah, Curious, I feel bad. You like this. I, I feel bad. Out. If you're that interested, just die. That's how I became like this. By the time Lefty cuts the power, Withered Bonnie has failed to dispatch his interrogator. It uh -oh. seems that he's grown somewhat fond of him. Look, this is the part where I'm supposed to kill you, but I'm not really after you, and you're a good bloke. Yeah. Thanks. I do have to go take care of something now, so just hide under the table or something. Oh, the Gems Guy. Wait, w. does he even have a name? No, w I guess man. not. Well, in honor of Markiplier, I'm going to call him Jebediah. And now we got Jebediah Kerman up here. That's crazy. <laughs> just loaded a game that says, real pull the pin game. Hmm. There's no way... Jebediah is crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Jebediah De Jebed hides under the desk as the animatronics w rise, Mans. mercilessly slaughtering everyone in the facility. In a oh, callback nah. to his wearing Michael Afton's skin after the events of Sister Location, Ennard wears the body of the guard interviewing Springtrap, and Ugh. when the latter attempts to kill him... Oh, Ennard! Oh. Got him. Got him. Yes, sir, Ennard. Yes, sir, Ennard. Oh, dang. When Springtrap comes to, he's surrounded by the cold mechanical remnants of his victims. As oh, Nightmare no. Bonnie suggested earlier, upon discovering Jem's capture of Springtrap, Lefty and the gang deliberately allowed themselves to be taken in so that they could finally get their revenge. Huh. Just as the animatronics are closing they wanted them revenge. Pulls they the wanted that revenge. He has hidden behind his back. Where he got the grenade is unclear, but whatever. Injured by the explosion, Bonnie lies malfunctioning on the Yo. floor, and Jebediah and the newly introduced Major hose him down before having a little chat. Wouldn't have been so bad about 10 minutes ago. Yeah. It's the least I could do. With Springtrap and several other animatronics having escaped, the two sides are dead. come to an agreement. People are okay, dead. Robot. We'll help you find Afton. We'll let you talk to him for a bit, but after that, he's ours. Yo. No catch. No catches. W Mans. Okay, well, first, I have a name. It's Bonnie. And second, I think, gentlemen, we have a deal. Yes, sir. All right. Let's go and catch ourselves a spring trap. Yes, sir. Catch, you, catch yourself a spring trap. Oh, uh, that was lucky fire. The fire line, bro. I see what you did. Third Bonnie and the gems mobilize with, like, helicopters and shit. It's awesome. We Facts. cut to Springtrap sprinting through the woods with oh, Nightmare nah, trying, Bonnie and Chica close behind. With literal helicopters coming after him, there's just no way Springtrap is going to escape. Yeah. And sure enough, Nightmare Bonnie eventually gets the jump on him. Oh, dang. The animatronics surround Springtrap and prepare to end this once and for all. Look at you, frail man. That's crazy. A match for a kill robot. Yes, sir. Well, 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 so we meet at last. We're going to kill you. Yeah. Oh, I always come back. Ah, da, da, da. The gems arrive and let the other animatronics know that they've come in peace. Bonnie and Chica, I want to meet you on this one. What makes you think that? Other Bonnie says we share a similar goal. Nightmare Bonnie yeah. is a little skeptical. But we have him already. So it doesn't matter. Just let us bring the box so we can talk properly. As the animatronics consider Jem's offer, we see one of the snipers in the helicopter begin to act strangely. In Grand Theft Auto fashion, he shoots ah. the windshield of the helicopter out, which causes it to explode. Awesome. It's entered. In was it was it Foxy, entered? We see another Gems facility housing captured Another one? It seems that not all of them are quite as sentient as the ones we've met so far. Freddy just seems to be a malfunctioning robot without any paranormal properties. What one of the, the guards heck? complains that Freddy never seems to shut up, but his colleague fails to respond. He turns to look when Freddy's dead. Our, our the colleague's dead. Oh no. Foxy. Oh. And his gun, he don't got his gun. Dead. He's dead. Foxy oh my gosh. Foxy cradles Freddy in his arms and... Wow, that line sounds like bad FNAF fan fiction. Did Freddy die? 
Did they die? the facility, we see Vin Diesel watching the explosion from a distance. Why is Vin Diesel there? <laughs> because of course Vin Diesel's there. Something's yeah. exploding. If something's exploding, you gotta have Vin Diesel there. It's how it goes. Uh. When Springtrap comes to, he finds himself chained to a chair before the other animatronics. <laughs> Finally, some familiar faces. Oh my Furious gosh. Furious for, for his crimes, Lefty explains that they intend to kill him and put an end to all yeah. of this. We're here. W mans. Come on, go ahead and end him. And end everything. Once and for all. Yeah. After he seems amused. After all, many have tried to kill him before, and none have been successful. I've heard that before. <laughs> Dang, she hit him with that right hook. Oh my, editing, editing king. Replay that real quick. Yeah, sure, bro, I got you. But that was a hard hitter, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, here it is. <laughs> oh! Really getting on my nerves. Yeah. Dude, is this becoming Chica's thing? That yeah. she punches people? She does w. it in the glitched attraction too. Dang. She just punched us in oh the my face. my gosh. She could just dex you. Yeah. Holy shit. You've got she don't go, all hit him with that right hook. pain and death for us. Yeah. Actually, to be fair, Afton caused you undeath, but whatever. Lefty nah. raises his hand, which begins to glow death. for some reason, but before he can put an end to Afton. Yo, Golden Freddy. Death is too good for him. But yeah. death is exactly what he wants. Golden Freddy doesn't want to kill Afton, Come on. but rather, Cassidy, the vengeful spirit within, intends to torture and torment him forever. This is not death, but it is exactly what yeah. we deserve. W Golden. Lefty disagrees, though. They just want Afton dead so that they can all move on and rest. If he is kept alive, we cannot rest. Yeah. Like I said, death is too good for I'm lucky me. On, I'm lucky on Golden Freddy's side. Death is too good for Afton for all the stuff he's caused. What about us? That is not relevant. Okay, never mind. Angered, Lefty moves to murder Springtrap in spite of Golden Freddy's protests. But before they can, Foxy and the other phantom animatronics appear between them. So even even the nightmares are on his side too. Well, That's crazy. Can you see that coming? <laughs> she is correct. Afton does not deserve to die. Yeah. He must pay for his doing. He do he, he should pay for his doing. Oh, you guys, what's happened to you? We've been busy burning. Oh my Afton God. Afton shouldn't be allowed to die. Oh, so you're helping him now? Not helping him. Just keeping him alive. A schism begins to form between the animatronics who wish to oh, keep Afton finna. alive and torture him versus the ones who just want him dead. Lefty is skeptical, but Golden Freddy isn't hearing it. Is yeah. all this really worth it? I understand your anger, but... Yo. If you did, you wouldn't be killing him so soon. That's crazy. Before the animatronics can decide that's what actually, to do- That's actually- Me personally, I'm not letting someone yell at me like that. Lefty, you let that slide? That's crazy. With Springtrap, Nightmare Bonnie interrupts. Hey, look, so sorry to interrupt, but we've got some company. A guard enters the establishment, causing the other animatronics to flee into the darkness, but Nightmare Bonnie quickly smushes him. <laughs> he went Super Mario on he his He went ass. Super that Mario awesome. on him. A squad of GEMS agents approach the facility. No, don't let them get away. Yo. Damn it. Everybody spread out. You can do what you do best. Unfortunately, the yes, animatronics sir. who just wanted to kill Afton and end everyone's suffering are left behind to defend themselves from the soldiers. Jebediah and the Major monitor the mission on, from a bro. surveillance room, having been spared by Withered Bonnie. I feel like Golden Freddy is right, bro. I feel like Golden Freddy is right. During their initial escape, Jeb has become sympathetic towards the animatronics and warns the Major not to take them lightly. Major, yeah. come here. You don't want to go up against these guys. Trust me. I know what they're capable of. Yeah. Do not give me orders, detective. This is my mission. All right, you're going to die. I'm like it's your mission. You underestimate them. They're not what you think. Is that what the robot said to you, huh? You really believe him? 
Yo. He's a freaking robot. And the major is simultaneously the so best slow. and worst voice actor in this series. Sometimes his lines are just perfect. Okay, yeah. Robot. But sometimes they're hilariously bad. Regardless, exactly. the interviewed is already such a goofy series. It, it kind of works. It's, it's a W campy though. And silly in an it's so bad it's good kind of way. Especially when compared to the series' other voices, which are actually quite impressive. That yeah. said, there are some lines from the major that are just straight up good. It's a freaking robot. <laughs> No. Jebediah and the Major's argument is cut short by the sound of a blaring alarm. They open the main gate and- Oh no. Yo. He's got some friends. <laughs> long story, really. The Major is confused. They had guards posted. How are these robots able to reach them That's so That's crazy. Easily? How am I supposed to be- Oh uh, yes, uh, well, I believe Chica and the others were taking care of that. <laughs> I think we killed them. Huh. You don't say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Leon, that's crazy. Uh, anyway, that doesn't matter right now. Withered Bonnie explains that some of the other animatronics <clears throat> have become consumed with fury and wish to torture Afton, and that they really need the gem's assistance in recapturing them. The group yeah. piles into a jeep <clears throat> to begin their pursuit of Springtrap and the other animatronics, and as they drive through the woods, we see the silhouette of the FNAF 4 house looming Yo. in the distance. They took him back there. The next video would be the Remnant Trials, a flashback right. to Afton's initial experiments with the human soul. Specifically, he's trying to determine the effects of administering varying That's amounts of up, Remnant bro. to each animatronic. First, he gives Funtime Foxy a 30% dose, and while he's able to converse with Afton, he seems to believe that he is Foxy, with only vague memories of his prior life. Do you know what your last name is? Yeah. However, as the two talk, Foxy appears to become more and more agitated. At least I'm not a murderer. A murderer. That's crazy. Yeah. I didn't kill you if that's what you're implying. Your body was donated for science. <laughs> that's funny. Donations usually require consent. Yes, sir. Yeah! Next, Afton injects a much larger quantity of Remnant into Ballora, and sure enough, she does remember more of her past life. Specifically, she remembers Afton and oh, what nah. he did to her, and she's not interested in yeah, cooperating. Yeah, W. Do you remember w. what happened? I remember. Come on. Can you list details? I can, but I don't think I'll share them. W. With you. Afton injects yeah. only 15% remnant into Funtime Freddy, but he doesn't respond at all. Desperate, Afton administers a maximum 100% dose of remnant into Circus Baby. That's crazy. 100% is crazy. To his surprise and delight, she recognizes him. Do you remember me? I suppose that is correct, yeah. Unfortunately, Circus Baby only sees William as her creator, not her father. Frustrating wow. him. But, um, do, do, do you, um, do, do you happen to know who you really are? I don't understand. Think. Nah. Remember back. Who were you before all of this? I don't understand. Yo. Please. Try to think. Why are Afton getting mad? I don't understand. Your name. It, it, it was Elizabeth. Elizabeth Afton. I don't understand. Elizabeth Afton, I daughter don't of William I Afton. Don't That's crazy. Why don't you remember? Yo. Remember the time as he descends into madness, he decides that he needs more test subjects to experiment nah, that's crazy. on, resulting in the fates of the animatronic characters that we've encountered so far. An interview with Cassidy opens with a flashback of Springtrap stuck in Fazbear Diner. A group of Gems agents approach, but the animatronic bunny is easily oh my able gosh. to subdue them. Oh my gosh! Wait, did Springtrap just shoot that guy a bunch of times? Yeah, that was Whoa, brutal. That's brutal. That Back was in the brutal. present day, that's we messed see a convoy up. of Gems vehicles driving through the woods before they're attacked by Phantom Foxy and Bee. Oh no. The two open up the trunk to see Zafton when. Care to do the honors? Gone. 
He ain't there. He's not here. Boom! Oh, they caught him. A they group of him. gems agents emerge from the woods using a large strobe light to render the animatronics immobile. Elsewhere, Nightmare Bonnie and Chica walk through okay. the woods together chatting. Okay, so this is kind of random, but I have a question. Okay. Go on. So you know how we had that party back in 1985? That's crazy. Come with the really big cake. Oh, I? Well, it got me thinking. How old are we? Like... Do we just stop where we died, or do we keep counting? I I don't know, Chica. Jeez, That's crazy. Wait, that would make me like thirty or something. Yo. Well, that would make me around forty then, wouldn't it? <laughs> you old man. You're gonna die tomorrow, mate. Hey, don't jinx it. Scenes <laughs> like this are among the things I enjoy most about yeah. the Yeah! And one of the things Bonnie that I it especially fun. Bonnie it really characterizes the animatronics. Since FNAF 1, these guys have been the star of the show, and it's fun to watch them converse and interact in ways that we just don't see in the games. Yeah. It's cool to see different animatronics with different personalities. Even in Security Breach, where the animatronics can speak, they barely ever interact with one another. Yeah. The only scene I can remember is this one time that Roxy says, Freddy, get out of my room! Nightmare Bonnie and Chica then begin to discuss Lefty. Specifically, they're concerned about them in the wake of their altercation with Golden Freddy back at the warehouse. Hey, uh, what's up with Lefty? She's been more somber than usual. Cut her some slack. Yeah. She hasn't said a word since that whole kerfuddle back at the warehouse. That's crazy. Are you worried about the others? I don't just mean the younger ones, like Freddy and Foxy and all that. Goldie, he seemed pretty pissed. I just want to make Afton pay. Yeah. Look, I can't see this ending pleasantly for any of us. Ultimately, the two resolve to finish what they started, locate Springtrap, and put an end to him. Yep. We just gotta stick to the plan. Get Afton. And finish what we tried to do. He'll get what's coming for him. Yes, sir. What goes around comes around. W. Bonnie. Speaking of Springtrap, he's currently enduring brutal psychological torture at the hands of Golden Freddy, who continually lists the dates on which Afton killed. They finally arrive at April 7th, 1984, the date Afton took his first victim. That's crazy. This is my death date. That's crazy. Remember it, Mr. Afton. What do you want from me? An apology? Like that could undo any of the damage I've done. After that, he shoots back, yeah. confused as to Golden Freddy's motives and asserting that what's done is done. The past can't be changed, and no matter how vividly Afton is able to remember his crimes, it won't bring the dead back to life. Yeah. And what do you want then? I want you to suffer. That's crazy. I want you to experience a fraction of the pain I've been through. <laughs> Yo, that's actually crazy. You don't know suffering. You don't think I know suffering? I was locked in the same room for 30 goddamn years. That is not what I am referring to. Golden Freddy continues Afton's psychological yeah. torture, forcing him to confront his many crimes and come to terms with the reason for all of it. The reason behind his slaughter. Yeah. You were also responsible for the death of your wife. That's crazy. I had good reason for it. Yes. The reason. Elizabeth. Don't you dare say that name. You were Yo. responsible for her death too. That's killed by the hand or perhaps claw of your own machine. Yeah. What are you doing? Yo, this is heat. I'm merely reminding you of your sins. In case you forgot. Yeah, come on, Stop Golden Freddy. This. Your son, Evan. Killed by yet another one of your creations. Stop it. Back in the woods, the gems Yo. agents move to secure the phantom animatronics when suddenly Nightmare Bonnie rolls up to save them. Oh, nah. <laughs> Yep, it's me again. Remember it up. Remember it up. Yep, it's me again. Come on, guys. I'm not in the mood. Alright, <laughs> if you insist. 
Yo! Damn, I'm never gonna get bored of seeing the animatronics use firearms. It's just so funny. Despite having just been rescued by the Nightmares, the Phantoms remain suspicious. They need Afton alive so he can be tortured, whereas the Nightmares had previously indicated that they wanted him dead. However, Nightmare Bonnie insists yeah. that their goals now align, and while Phantom Foxy is skeptical, he agrees to a temporary ceasefire. We cut to Withered and Toy Bonnie, as well as Ennard, who sense that the others are about to attack. Oh, they really want to scrap now? They really want a piece of this? Huh. <laughs> The Phantoms are disappointed to find their fellow animatronics instead of the Major, and Foxy demands that Withered Bonnie reveal all that he knows. Where is the one you call Major? Uh, tell me this, where the hell is the one you call Springtrap? Back in the house, Golden Freddy continues Afton's psychological He's still doing it, that's crazy. They explain that they intend I to feel make Springtrap bad. suffer I don't even feel bad for Afton, I feel bad for Golden Freddy. Afton continues to resist. You can't break me. I'm going to kill you like I killed the rest of them. Dang. Afton moves to attack Golden Freddy, but the latter is able to restrain him, seemingly Dang. with some unseen psychic force. Seriously, they go Lord Vecna on his <laughs> ass. It seems that Afton's torture is assured when suddenly... I believe it is safe to assume that no force on this earth can match the power I have. Yo! What just this happened? This is you. Wait, no. This is you. And you want to conquer the world of Albion? What just happened? Vin Diesel shows up and then he... Wait, no. That's the major. Never mind. With Golden Freddy temporarily disabled, the gems move to reclaim Springtrap, taking him into custody. The two of them depart, leaving that's Jebediah crazy. and the rest of the animatronics aligned with gems behind. Nightmare Bonnie is upset, accusing Jeb of allowing the major to escape with Afton. <laughs> You let him get away. Major is taking care of it. Wait a minute. You didn't get laid off, did you? What? No, no I didn't get laid off. Then why did he leave you behind? He just Dang. Here, making sure ones like you aren't killing our entire troop. Ugh, I don't want to hear it. The animatronics remain suspicious, believing that the Major simply used Jebediah's friendship with Withered Bonnie in order to recapture Afton, and that he likely has no intention of making good on the promises he made at the beginning of the series. As he they better argue, make promises or some all, all the animatronics going to kill him. current relationship dynamics. With Afton safely hidden from Golden Freddy and their crew, Lefty removes the electrical plug, freeing them from their stasis. Yo, he's about to be mad. Golden Freddy scolds Lefty, accusing them of having nothing to gain from their actions before quickly disappearing along with the phantom animatronics. Withered Bonnie, now suspicious that they have been betrayed by the Major, asks Jebediah if he knows where they're taking him. It turns out that he does know. Jebediah placed a tracking beacon on the van before w. the Major left. Springtrap is brought to a massive gems facility with the other animatronics close behind. Jebediah plans to go Metal Gear Solid on their asses and infiltrate the complex by stealing a guard's uniform, but realizes that he'll need Ennard's assistance as well. I think I'm getting the hang of it. I really couldn't have made these friends a little wider. <laughs> I thought you're supposed to be good at that stuff. Yeah. I thought the lookout was supposed to be armed. <laughs> Jebediah moves through the facility whilst Ennard follows along, hidden in the vents. Dubby. As they travel deeper in, Ennard systematically disables the cameras in their path, allowing them to search for Afton. On their way, Jeb notices a door marked Blueprints, and when he enters, he discovers that Gems are planning to outfit Springtrap with guns, turning Yo. him into a weapon. It's at this moment that Jeb realizes the Major's true goal. He doesn't want to study the animatronics eternal Yo. life in an effort to revolutionize industry and help humanity. He wants to create an army of immortal robotic soldiers. Little does the major know. The key ingredient for creating crazy. such a soldier is the human soul. That's actually wild. That was actually a crazy reaction. Oh my gosh, bro. This it keeps getting better and better, bro. Oh my gosh all right y'all that was death is too good for you william afton if y'all want to see more reactions like this you already know what to do make sure like subscribe and other than that you boy king two first out i love y'all boys man and peace out